some of the members of your own conference in some of those districts, like swing districts, who are concerned about going down that route, concerned about not having, not proving that Joe Biden took official action to aid his son, or politically speaking, that it could backfire on them in their swing districts. I think they have nothing to worry about. Uncovering corruption at the highest level, vice president and president of the United States, is our job. And this isn't political at all. This is about uprooting uh, uh, those that have not only covered up Joe Biden's crimes, but Joe Biden himself. And we've done months and months of work on the Oversight Committee, I think eight months now. And we have uncovered more information uh, wire transfers, bank statements, SARS reports showing that the Biden family has benefited by approximately $20 million and counting by abusing and, and basically selling Joe Biden's seat of power. Congressman Ken Buck says you guys have not proven your case yet. I think Congressman Ken Buck is more interested in working for your network than he is for the district that elected him. You don't think that he's... Uh, He's, he knows what he's talking about? I think he's, he is actually playing party politics. He's either looking for Joe Biden to appoint him to a position, maybe the open Republican FTC seat, or he's looking to be a CNN commentator. He's, he's not upholding the Constitution that he swore to protect because impeachment is very much a part of the Constitution. Do you think he deserves to be reelected? I think that's up to his district, but I've heard uh, rumblings coming out of that district. Do you support a primary challenger to him? I support his district in making sure they send a, a, a representative to Congress that actually believes in the Constitution, no matter how much they brag about their law degree. You met with the Speaker yesterday.